okay. So it's summertime. I'm like 11. And I used to spend a lot of time at my cousin's house. Like during the summer, I would stay for like three days straight. And so I'm at my cousin's house. This is probably like the fifth day I'm there. Uh, and we're just sitting in this room. We're kind of bored. And my cousin's like, oh, have you had the uh, cotton candy Slurpee from 7-Eleven? I was like, no, I haven't. Is it good? He's like, oh, it's the best flavor. We got to go get some. There's a 7-Eleven like 20 minutes away. So we get on these scooters. We're scootering our way to 7-Eleven. Halfway through, like halfway to 7-Eleven, there's this massive hill. It's like Mount Everest 2. So we scooter our way up there. I give up like halfway up. I just walk. And it takes us like five minutes, by the way, to get up this hill. And we finally get to 7-Eleven. We get the Slurpees. And there's this iced coffee that my aunt really likes. And so my cousin's like, oh, let's grab some iced coffee for my mom. He gets the iced coffee. We go up to the register. We're like three cents short. The cashier's all mad at us. So we're just going to put the coffee back, right? Who who really cares? You know, it was going to be a nice surprise for my aunt, but we're poor. We don't have money. So we go to put it back. And some lady behind us, she's like, oh, no, no, no. I'll give you, I'll give you the money you need. How much do you need? We're like three cents. She started laughing. She gave us a nickel. So we get the coffee. We get the Slurpees. We're going back. And my cousin hands me everything. He's like, I'm see how fast I can go down the hill. He goes down like 5,000 miles an hour. I go down like four miles an hour because I'm not trying to spill my Slurpee or, you know, drop the iced coffee. I get down there. He, My cousin waits at the bottom for me. I catch up. And we scooter for about 30 seconds. And this dude, he comes out of nowhere, by the way. He's like... I don't know how tall this dude was. He was probably like eight feet tall. He was a giant. And he starts talking to us, so we stop. But he's not really speaking English. I mean, he is. He's speaking like a mix of English and Spanish. And we have no idea what he's saying because he's talking really fast. And he has this uh, backpack in his hand. And he talks to us for like 10 seconds, and he just walks away all quick. So my cousin and I, we laugh, and we start scootering. This cop car comes flying down the massive hill, slams on his brakes, like, halfway through the hill. Don't know how the car didn't roll down, by the way. Like, I don't care if he had the best brakes in the world. That hill is so steep, his car's rolling. So I'm guessing he was a witch. So he uses his witchcraft to hold his car in place, jumps out, and the cop, he's like half this dude's size, right? The cop and the dude start screaming at each other. My cousin and I, we just stop. Like, we're watching. And they're yelling at each other for a good 30, 40 seconds. Then the dude points at me and my cousin. Me and my cousin, we took off, right? We didn't do anything wrong. We just, this dude pointing at us. We know it's definitely not going to be, like, it's definitely not a good thing that he's pointing at us. So we get out of there, get back to my cousin's house. We give his mom the coffee. She's, you know, happy. She's like, oh, thank you. You guys are so, you know, considerate. We didn't tell her that we uh, had to take money from some lady. And we drank our Slurpees, had a good time. And so my cousin does tell his mom a couple days later that that guy, we talked to some giant, and she's like, she whips out her phone. She goes, I don't know, she goes like some neighborhood app, right, where you can see like what goes on in your neighborhood. And some guy, it's the dude, the reason the cops started yelling at him, and like the cop and him, I'm, the dude got arrested. He tried to break into somebody's house, but people were home, they yelled at him, and he ran away. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. GG.